Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball on either WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM in Hopkinton. And we are underway between 6 and 3, North Chelmsford post 313 and 8 and 0. Ashland post 77, Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklett on the call as the pitch is hit up the middle from Joe O'Malley, the leadoff hitter. And to start things off, it is a 6 to 3 ground out. For out number one, that'll bring up Zach LaRouchelle, the second baseman. And we'll take you through the North Chelmsford lineup. It's a beautiful Tuesday evening here at Ashland Middle School. Temperatures in the low 80s as LaRouchelle steps in to face Matt Tomaselli on the mound for post 77 as this is hit foul. Heads up, Tom. Towards us. Let's take a look at the North Chelmsford lineup. It was Joe O'Malley leading things off with a ground out. Zach LaRouchelle, the second baseman, hitting second. Chris Osiello, the shortstop, hitting third. Joe Nickerson, the catcher, hitting cleanup, wind up, and the pitch slightly outside. Tyler Happity, the center fielder, is hitting fifth. Riley Moulton, the right fielder, hitting sixth. Alex Carney, the first baseman, hitting seventh. Coleman Lawler, the DH hitting eighth, and Connor Tompkins, the left fielder, hitting ninth for North Chelmsford, post 313. And post 313 on a six game winning streak heading into this game. Count is one and one on LaRouchelle. And we'll get you the post 77 defense right after this pitch. Tomaselli set to deliver. Fouled away, one and two. With the post-77 defense, here's my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklot. Well, Tom, welcome back from vacation. At third base, Tom Cavanaugh. Shortstop, Cole Glasper and Dante Diavanzo. At second base, Alex Amalfi playing first base. Left to right, Kevin Barnwell. Right, uh, right field is Nick Calabresi. Center field, Brandon Grover. Good looking upcoming senior. Behind the plate, Sean Jewett catching we're seeing him for the first time this year, uh, Matt Tomaselli. Tomaselli set to deliver, wind up and the pitch. And that'll be a walk, it looks like, to LaRouchelle. There'll be no arguments with the home plate umpire, Mike Whalen from Hopkins in Massachusetts. Uh, he's umpired at very, very high levels. There'll be no squawking from either dugout. Our umpiring crew is Mike Whalen and Kevin Harrington this evening. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. We'll get you the numbers on Matt Tomaselli in just a moment. He's pitched well so far this season. Runner on first, one out. Swing and a miss. Oh. He was at the butcher shop with that one, Tom. What a chop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, cut that meat. Thomas Sally had him fooled with that pitch. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the worst swing of the year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, that's funny. That Fouled bad, away. That bad from the three-hitter. Oh, boy. <laughs> one, one and two is the count. Matt Tomaselli actually pitched the last time Post 77 took on North Chelmsford. He pitched a shutout in that game, a complete game shutout, as Post 77 took down North Chelmsford 11 to nothing. Was it a forfeit? Nope. Okay. A mercy. Thing. They'd have to have 12 runs for that. Okay. Tomaselli set to deal. Up the middle, takes a couple hops, picked up by the second baseman, throw to second for one, now to first, and they got him. How about that, a 4-6-3 double play to end the top half of the first, to the bottom of the first we go. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. We are set for the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at the post-77 lineup. Leading things off is center fielder Brendan Grover, hitting second right fielder Nick Calabrese. Batting third, third baseman Dom Cavanaugh, Alex Amalfi, the first baseman hitting cleanup. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. The DH, Drew Rancatori, hitting sixth. The shortstop, Cole Glassburn, hitting seventh. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting eighth. And Dante Diavanzo, the second baseman, hitting ninth for eight and oh, post 77. 
And now with the North Chelmsford post 313 defense, here is Larry Sacklot. Joe O'Malley's playing third base. Chris DeCiello, a lot of vowels, a lot of syllables there. At uh, shortstop, uh, Zach LaRochelle at second base. Alex Carney, at first base. Left field, Connor Tompkins. Tyler Happany in center field. Riley Moulton on right. John Nickerson behind the plate, catching Will McCormick. And I have been corrected. It, Post 77 is indeed 9 and 0 oh due to the forfeit on Monday from Medford. Medford had to unfortunately forfeit the rest of their season as they were unable to come up with enough players. So Post 77 is indeed 9 and 0 oh overall. And we'll take a look at the Zone 5 standings right now. Hudson 9 and 2, Ashland is 9 and 0, oh. Natick 7 and 3. North Chelmsford on a six game winning streak. They are six and three. Lowell four and three. Bill Ricca four and three. Newton is three and eight. Waltham two and seven. And Medford has forfeit the season. Yeah, since I've been here three years, two teams have folded, Tom. I don't know what that says about me, but Sudbury <laughs> and, uh, and Medford have left the uh, zone five. First pitch to Brendan Grover was. A tad low from Will McNamara. That's fouled away. What do you and think, I'm scaring them away or what? You might be, you well, might there, be. There needs to be some uh, uh, team sort of merging. I think that's what uh, they should be doing is merging. They're losing ball players at an alarming rate. There's a strike. Yeah, I agree, I think at some point with a good number of teams dropping in the last few years. You could see some zone realignment. As that is fouled into the catcher's glove for a strikeout, one away. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, will step in. Yeah, teams that have been perennially good, the Newtons and the Walthams, uh, cellar dwellers now is very, very surprising. Wind up and the pitch. There is a strike to Calabrese. We'll certainly have uh, some good loud calls behind home plate today from Mike Whalen. Is that pitch just outside, one and one. He's a real interesting guy. He teaches the uh, Hopkins and Little League kids how to umpire. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air, foul. One and two. Real good about donating his time. Well, they certainly need more umpires for anybody interested out there. And this is up the right side, slow roller, picked up by the first baseman, will get there just in time. Two away. It'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the third baseman. Cavanaugh has been hitting a I'll say uh, heck out of the ball lately, along with Alex Amalfi, the corners. Sitting a 429 on the season as he takes strike one. 579 on base percentage for Cavanaugh. Well, it's been a while since we've been down at Ashland Middle School. Well, we'll be down here a whole lot in the next couple of weeks, that's for sure. Keep my fingers crossed for playoffs. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, 0 oh and 2. Well, they, they have almost clinched a spot at this point. Yeah. A few more wins and they're in. And that pitch is just low, 1 and 2. Wind up and the pitch from McCormick, and this is hit in the air over to left field, and it gets over the head of Connor Tompkins in left field. Here comes Kavanaugh to second base. He's going to round second, and he'll go back, and he's safe with the 2 out double. I got to tell you, North Chelmsford's got the better uniforms, Tom. There's no question about that. Well, Kavanaugh with a nice double there. Alex Amelfi, the first baseman, will step in. He's got to be hitting over 400. Last time we were down here, he hit a couple of bombs. Well, we'll get you those numbers momentarily. Coach Obed wanted Kavanaugh to take third base, but 
Dom pulled up on his own. I'll give you a hint. His batting average has two zeros in it. A thousand? Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand. That would be three zeros, wouldn't it? That would be. Oh, boy. Good math. 6.15 on base percentage for Amalfi. Wind up and the pitch down low. Alex Amalfi heading to UMass Boston to do his baseballing next year. Coach should be really lucky to have him. McNamara set to deliver the one two. Just low. Really nice night. You're you're absolutely right. It was 88 in Weston on my way out here and 83 in Ashland. Big lead for Kavanaugh at second base. Wind up and the pitch. Sliced foul. But for those that, who are at home watching us on YouTube or on uh, HCAM at WACA, it could be 10 degrees out. Well, unfortunately, no hot stove. <laughs> yeah, no live YouTube tonight, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> Here comes the 2-2 pitch from McNamara. Fouled away. Going to work with our programming director to have a January 12th replay of this game. Because you got that kind of pull with the programming director, the programming department. Post 77 will be at first place, or I should say Post 77 is in first place statistically, but Hudson playing more games is listed as the first place team right now. But Post 77 could certainly gain a good amount of leeway with a win tonight and tomorrow night. And we're planning to be in Hudson for that game under the lights. Oh, it's going to be dark out? It is. Oh, Good. Two and two on Amalfi, who continues to battle McCormick. Or, excuse me, McNamara. <laughs> McNamara working from the stretch. Leg lift and the pitch. Good take. Good take by Amalfi. Very good take. Well, McNamara is a six foot two, 185 pound right hander. Set to graduate in 2020. I got to change my book. I got McCormick. So I'll have to change it to McNamara. And this is hit high in the air over to left field and caught for the third and final out of the first inning. We will head to the top of the second. We are scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the second inning, four, five, and six do up for North Chelmsford. John Nickerson, the catcher, to start things off, followed by Tyler Happney, the center fielder, and Riley Moulton, the right fielder. Matt Thomaselli set to deliver. There's a strike. Or his stats during the year, uh, Thomaselli. Maybe you already mentioned them. I wasn't paying attention. Just. Easy for me to do. One and one. It certainly is easy for you to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tomaselli, uh, this season for Ashland Legion, has pitched in two games. He's pitched seven and a third of an inning. And he has a very good ERA of 1.90. You got his uh, high school stats by any chance? Oh, I got everything. Like yeah, I know you do. You're the stat man. I gotta dig it up on my computer. This is hit in a right field. That'll drop in for a hit. A leadoff single for Nickerson. That'll bring up Tyler Happeny, the center fielder. Thomas Ellie not particularly overpowering. He must have had a uh, Chemsford number the last time he faced him. I'd say he's more of a breaking ball pitcher. Yeah. And a curveball slider, that kind of thing. Exactly. Pitch a little bit low. One and oh. Two 
Matt Tomaselli had a 3.69 ERA for the Holliston Panthers this season. Two wins, one loss, five appearances on the mound. Wind up and the pitch. This is a fair ball. Now it's foul. Like a cat, Mike Whalen jumps out from behind the plate to make that call. Well, we'll certainly have some good umpiring today, that's for sure. 1-1 one, one count on Happeny. Jake Gobit is a first-year manager. He's got to be really happy with the club. I mean, he's a very uh, fierce competitor. I'll just use those two words. Certainly is. Checking at first, almost an overthrow. Good pull down by Amalfi. Amalfi. Yeah, he's not going to want to lose a game. He's going to do everything to keep that loss number at zero. I agree. Tomaselli deals. There's a ball, a little inside, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. A little bit low, three and one. Runner on first, no outs. And Jewett wants to talk to Tomaselli. Yeah, Sean Jewett, the uh, longtime catcher for the uh, Ashley and Post 77. Tomaselli's missing low. So maybe that's what their conversation was about, Jewett and Tomaselli. Three one count on Happeny. And the righty hits this one in the air, foul territory and out of play. You already have some warm up activity in the post seventy seven bullpen. Looks like they got Louis Dennison in there getting loose. Swing and a miss. Oh Out number goodness. one. That was a chop if I ever saw one. Riley Moulton will step in. Maybe these kids work at Stop and Shop at the meat counter uh, during the day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're lumberjacks. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Couple of really bad swings. Man. Oh, North Chelmsford has hit the ball well this season, especially in the last six games. That's fouled away, 0 oh and 1. And they probably got the four wins against Newton and Waltham. Four out of their six, I got to I gotta believe. Wind up and the pitch, down low. 1 and 1. Because they had no answers for Tomaselli the last time... Uh, 77 visited Chelmsford. There's a strike. I was keeping track of that game on Game Changer. I do recall a good amount of base runners for North Chelmsford. They could just never play to run. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Out number two, strikeout number two for Tomaselli. That'll bring up Alex Carney, the first baseman. Looks like uh, Chelmsford's gonna do any damage. It's gonna be uh top four in their lineup. Uh, so far, I haven't seen anything that's uh, remarkable, anything after the four hitter. Wind up and the pitch. And this is sliced in the air to right field. That'll drop into fair territory. Lead runner is heading over to third and he will slide in safely. It's a two out single for Carney. Nickerson now at third, so it's runners on the corners with two outs. Coleman Lawler, the DH, will step in. It wasn't blasted, that ball. It was sort of spinning away from Calabrese out in right field. It almost looked like it went off towards the top of the bat. Yeah, that's some English for sure. Calabrese had to really charge that ball. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, gloved, dropped. No, it's dropped by Glassburn. Throw to first, not in time. Everyone's safe and a run scores. B6. Absolutely. So Nickerson scores the unearned run. 
Carney over to second. Connor Tompkins, the left fielder, steps to the plate. Down low. That's the Cole Glassburn story. He'll make the sensational play, but he'll boot the res relatively easy play. I guess Jackson Hornung getting a day off today. Yeah, that's because he's from Clarksville, Maryland. Did you know that? I did not. Well, yeah. Filed away. <laughs> Played a couple of years for the Hopkins and Hillers. Now he's heading out to Catholic University. Study architecture and baseball. Tomaselli from the stretch, runner leading off of first. Wind up and the pitch. There's a ball inside, two and one. Oh, I don't know, ump. I don't know. Pretty good for me. Well, I think the umpire has the better view. Yeah. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air, foul territory, and out of the reach of everybody. Two and two, good hustle by Dom Cavanaugh. Would have been out of play anyway. Yep. Tomaselli working from the stretch. Malfi not holding the runner on at first base. Wind up and the pitch. Sliced foul into the backstop. Count remains two and two. The lefty awaits the pitch. Two on, two outs. And this is up the left side. Slow roller could be tricky, and it's in and out of the glove of Cole Glassburn. Everybody's safe. That'll load up the bases. Certainly a tough play to make. I'm going to score that an infield single. And that'll bring up Joe O'Malley, the third baseman. He might have not had a play on it, even if he picked up that ball. Uh, sort of nubbed off the bat, but this field is so atrocious. Even though they cut the lawn, it's still atrocious. So it's bases loaded, two outs, one already in for North Chelmsford. This is up the middle. Glassburn gloves it, flips to second for the force out to retire the side. We will head to the bottom of the second, post 77, trailing one to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, Sean Jewett steps in, the catcher, followed by Drew Rancatori and Cole Glassburn. And he will rip this one into center. That'll get down. A leadoff single for Jewett. I don't know what's the matter with that kid. He hits about 350 points higher in the summer than he does during the regular season. I don't know. He is certainly hitting very well this season. He did the thing last year. What do you think his average is, Larry, if you had a guess? Oh, 450. 579. All right. Oh, this is fouled off. off. And his regular season was probably uh, 200. Oh, for post 77, 579, 704 on base percentage. And we'll look at his regular season for Holliston in just a moment. Set to deliver is McNamara. There's a strike. Drew Rancatori seeing some action. He's had a groin injury that's plagued him since the last three games of the high school season. Jewett hit a 224 during the high school season. My point exactly. This is up the right side and dropped by the first baseman, picks it up, steps on the bag. Jewett does advance the second. So three unassisted on the out. Cole Glassburn, the shortstop, will step in. I see what Coach Obed did. He, st he stacked the uh, the lineup with uh, Hillers, Rancatori, and Glassburn. That's what he did. That's very, right. very cagey move. 
Well, they were state championship contenders. Yes. Glassburn through four games of action is hitting a 250 for post 77. Swing and a miss. That was a home run swing if I ever saw one. 0 and 1. Then he hit over 400 during the regular season, so he does the reverse come summertime. Well, maybe he can help out here. Runner on second, one out. North Chelmsford leading one to nothing. And he'll slice this one in the air. Foul territory out of play. 0 and 2. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, happy to be on the call for Ashland Legion Baseball. Connor Donovan on camera. Did you happen to catch the home run derby last night on ESPN, uh, Tom? I, I, I caught some highlights. I didn't, mm. didn't catch the actual derby. And then Glassburn stays alive with that one. A little chip foul there. I heard it was quite a conclusion. Yeah. Uh, I know talk on sports radio today is the, the balls are juiced. Should do that during the regular season. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and two. She would thought about it. Good block by the catcher. Nickerson. Looks like Vlad Jr. is following in his father's footsteps. Oh, <laughs> you're not kidding. Here's the one, two. Just outside, says the home plate umpire, Mike Whalen. Two and two. Was it Alfonso, the ultimate winner for? Yes, it was it Kyle Alfonso from the Mets? Yeah. McNamara takes a long look at second and steps towards the bag to get Jewett back. Some friendly rigging from his dugout. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. Good battle here between Glassburn and McNamara. Full count. Who do you got in the All-Star game tonight, Larry? I hope it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> that is a possibility in the All-Star game. And Glassburn gets a piece of this one over to right field. That'll drop in front of the right fielder. Jewett over to third. And it'll be runners on the corners with one out for post 77. Jewett had a sort of wait, go about halfway to make sure that ball dropped in front of Moulton. Kevin Ballow, it's the left fielder, will step in. Yeah, this year there's no... Uh, Winners doesn't get home field advantage, I, I, I don't think, for the World Series. I think they they changed up the rules. I believe you are correct. Kevin Ballot's hitting a 333 in throughout four games. 444 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Runner taking off from first. The throw to second, not in time. Stolen base for Glassburn. Well, Chimps have decided to throw through. But Cole Glassman will admit it on his own. He's not very fast. Oh, showed off some decent speed there. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit high in the air, fair territory, and it is caught. So that'll be the second out of the inning. It was caught by the third baseman, Joe O'Malley. That'll bring up Dante Diavanzo, the second baseman, with two outs and two on. Diavanzo hit a 241 for Ashland High School this past season. He's playing in place of Glassburn at second base today. A pitch down low. With Honung out of the lineup. Honung's probably down on the vineyard or something, I would imagine. He does that this time of year. Yeah, he deserves a vacation. Diavonzo hitting a 286 for post 77, and he'll get a piece of this one up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, no problem. Five to three for out number three, 
to the top of the third we go. Post 77 trailing one to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the third inning, a one to nothing lead for North Chelmsford. Two, three, and four due up. Matty Tomaselli back out there for his third inning of work. Wind up and the pitch. Slightly low, one and oh. LaRouchelle walked his only time up back in the first. Tomaselli deals and LaRouchelle gets a piece of this one over to center field and caught by Grover, one away. He's a good looking all around player, Brandon Grover. What does 77 have five or six games left on their uh, schedule? Eh, we'll go through the schedule in a moment. Chris oh. Osiello, the shortstop, will step in. We'll take you right through the remaining schedule. Whole lot of home games coming up for post-77. Didn't you tell me this kid's name was Osprey? I've told you a lot of things, Larry. I would say I changed that in my book. Thomas Selly deals to Osiello. That is slightly high, and it's two and oh. Ospreys are those big, giant birds. <laughs> make some comment about his last name. Hit in the air behind the plate. Can Jewett make the catch? Yes, he can. Two away. Always a tough play for a catcher. The ball's going to spin back to its own plate. That'll bring up John Nickerson, the catcher. So remaining games, four post 77. Tomorrow they're at Hudson, 7 p.m. game time. We're going to be there. But, see, this is not live, so nobody can join us. Well, tomorrow I think we will be. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. <laughs> Down low. And then Lowell. <laughs> Lowell is an away game on Thursday. That was initially the home game, but they swapped. And Post 77 had the home game back in June as that pitch is down low. And defeated Lowell, I might say, last year's uh, zone champion. They did. And a very nice win. 10-3 to three was the score of that game. This is foul towards us. Two and one. And then after Lowell, on Sunday, a home game against Bill Ricca. And then on Monday, home against Hudson. Tuesday, home against Waltham. And Wednesday, home against Natick. That pitch just inside. Just saw Sean Babineau, the pitching coach, walking through our uh, camera view. The Worcester Braveheart, former Post 77 alum. There's a line drive in the left field. That gets down for a single. Two out single for Nickerson. Actually had a chance to catch the Bravehearts a couple weeks ago. Fortunately, Babineau wasn't pitching, but Bravehearts did get the win. Expensive uh, ticket? No, not at all. And it's a great atmosphere. I think it's like a $5 ticket. We did the Sunday barbecue. You could get, you could, uh, spend $13 and you get an all-you-can-eat barbecue, plus you get to see the game. Is that 13 for two people? For one. But oh. it's all you can eat barbecue. You're very generous. Uh. <laughs> this is up the left side, and it's past the reach of Kavanaugh. Everybody's going to be safe. Kavanaugh claps his glove like he could have had it, but that uh, infield is really tough to read, as I've mentioned probably 100 times over the last three years. So it's runners on first and second, four post 313, as Riley Moulton, the right fielder, will step in. We were trying to name the Worcester uh, or the team that's going to take Pawtucket. It's Polar Field, I think, from the Polar Beverages. The this ground ball to up second. The, up the right side, throw to second. They'll get the out to retire the side. A four to six force out. For out number three, we'll head to the bottom of inning number three. It's one nothing North Chelmsford on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order, four post 77. McNamara sets a deal to Brendan Grover. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. One and oh. Set to deliver. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, one and one.
He deals. Swing and a miss. One and two. <laughs> McNamara gets the sign he likes and delivers. Swing and a miss. Out number one. That's the second time he's gone down today. He's been a really good replacement for Brad Seymour. Well, I think uh, made his way out to UMass Amherst, if I'm not mistaken. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, will step in. Grounded out back in the first inning. Up high. Well, post 77 on a nine game winning streak. North Chelmsford on a six game winning streak. One of those streaks will come to an end today. Wind up in the pitch. Swing and a miss, one and one. I might beg to differ with you, Tom. If this game ends at a tie due to darkness, they will uh, have both have zero losses. Actually, they'll have to meet up and play the rest of it. A bunt attempt and a miss for a strike, one and two. There's no ties, I believe, in District Well, if it gets play. too dark, I'm sorry. They're going to have to call the game. Dallow. Two and two. McNamara set to deal. Fouled away. McNamara is throwing very, very hard. Yeah, certainly some good velocity working quickly as well. And this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, and it's in time. Two away. I think Mike Whalen, the home plate umpire, has umpired as high as uh, triple A, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to get his resume. Tom Cavanaugh, the third baseman, will step in. Well, certainly has a lot of experience, and every game I've seen him do, he does a great job. Also mm -hmm. does football and field hockey. Field hockey? Really? Well, now I've lost a lot of respect for him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. He's got a short trip from Hopkinton to uh, Ashland. It's called strike. One and one. I wonder how he feels about boys like from Somerset Berkeley playing uh, field hockey. There's a strike. One and two. Especially in the playoffs. That's nonsense to me. That is down low. Good eye there by Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh doubled back in the first inning. Fouls that one off. Count remains two and two. Cole Glassburn uh, warming up behind us. He pitched uh, against uh, Waltham, I think, with a fever, if I'm not mistaken. That's fouled away. Got the victory, obviously, because uh, post-77 hasn't lost a game. McNamara deals, and that hit him. So a runner on with two outs, four post 77. Now the cleanup man, Alex Amalfi, will step in. Amalfi flew out and has only played appearance back in the first inning. Let's see what McNamara's uh, pickoff move is like. Jake Obed has uh, shown a penchant for uh, having guys swipe bags. Excuse me. That what happened? a ball. Had a sneeze fit. Oh. The allergies. But I re removed my headset so your eardrums wouldn't burst. 
That pitch down low. Well, Kavanaugh's been on twice today. One via deep double to left field and hit by pitch. McNamara set to deal. Fouled away, two and one. McNamara takes a peek at first and now is set to deliver. Check swing, he held, three and one. John Jewett on deck, shall Amalfi reach? Swing and a miss, three and two. And the runner, uh, at first, Kavanaugh takes off for a second as the ball briefly got by Nickerson. I think the umpire ruled a foul, He's sending him yeah. back. Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah, I thought there might have been a smidge of contact there. Great word, smidge. <laughs> McNamara delivers, runner taking off from first, swing and a miss. And that'll be out number three. In inning number three, to the top of the fourth we go. North Chelmsford leading post 77, one to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning, a new pitcher for post 77. Louis Dennison is now on the mound. Over at Halston High School this season, he had a 382 ERA in seven appearances. Pitched 11 innings, striking out five and walking five. Gave up seven runs, six of which were earned. Alex Carney, the first baseman, steps in for post 313 of North Chelmsford. First pitch is a ball from the sidearm hurler. Seven, eight, and nine due up for North Chelmsford. Swing and a miss. Well, Matt Tomaselli was pitching well to start this game, but a lot of games coming up for post-77, so I'm sure they want to reserve as many arms as possible and get some guys some work. A pitch down low, two and one. I heard Tom Nappy was going on Sunday. So what the rumor on the street is anyway. Oh, we'll be here Sunday. A hard throwing right hander. Yeah. <laughs> Outside. Dennison this season has not pitched a whole lot for post 77. He's faced 14 hitters. That is fouled away. I believe most of those were in the tournament games that did not count towards zone five play. Was that the Shamrock Classic down in uh, Rhode Island they attended? That's right. And there's a strike for out number one. I'll bring up Coleman Lawler, the DH. Wind up and the pitch. Nice movement there for strike one. Champs for the heading towards the bottom of their order. I wish Sean Babino would get out of my sight line. Foul tip there, 0 oh and 2. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Out number two, strike out number two for Dennison. That'll bring up Connor Tompkins, the left fielder. 
post 59 out of Milford's making some hay out of zone 4 I understand or the rumor on the street is there's a bunt that is a slow roller picked up throw to first no problem one to three for out number three we will head on to the bottom of the fourth North Chelmsford leading post 77 one to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network Bottom of the fourth inning, five, six, and seven due up for post 77. Sean Jewett, Drew Rancatori, and Cole Glassburn to face Will McNamara, who has pitched a great game so far. Delivers a strike here, 0 oh and 1. Three solid innings for McNamara. He's given up three hits, no runs. And this is hit in the air, foul territory, and it is. Out of play, 0 oh and 2. Very sparse crowd down here, Tom. A lot of vacationers, I'm assuming. I'd say so. You didn't ever know it by the traffic on the Mass Pike getting here tonight, Tom. Well, there's always a lot of traffic on the Mass Pike no matter what. The 0-2 oh inside. Oh, Sean Jewett's a little lucky to still be standing in the batter's box. Line up in the pitch. Up high. Two and two. So Sean Jewett made a motion to McNamara, thinking that he was thrown towards the head. I don't think that was the case. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. It goes. That'll drop in for a base hit. And it gets by the right fielder. Drew it on his way to second. The throw is not in time. And it's a stand-up double for Sean Jewett. Drew Rankatori, the DH, will step in. Man on second. No outs. Four post 77. Good piece of hitting there. He is two for two today. I have some words with the pitcher. The lefty steps in. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Drew Rancatori hit over 400 for the Hillers this year and swiped an incredible number of bases. So far, he's 0 for 5 for post 77. There's a bunt pulled back. Low pitch, 1 and 1. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, happy to be with you for Ashland Legion Baseball. Connor Donovan on camera. 1 0 North Chelmsford lead here in the bottom of the fourth. But a runner on second for post 77 with no outs. McNamara with the leg lift and the pitch. Bunt is pulled back, and that is ball two. Hillers did a fair amount of bunting this year on their way to state uh, title final game. The 2-1. And he'll get a piece of this one to right field. It goes foul. Two and two. Just straighten that out. He had a ball like that, just like that last year, and almost wrapped around the pole, but that was way foul. Showed some pop this year in high school ball. Time called by the catcher. And Nickerson wants a word with McNamara. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Air strike three, got him looking, one away. That'll bring up Cole Glasper in the shortstop. He singled his last time up. <laughs> nice shot, Larry. Yeah. So it goes bowling. That's fouled away, 0-1. Oh, you're just trying to be nice, roll the baseball back, and of course you knock over someone's water ball. It's all right, it's okay. 
Wind up and the pitch. Glassbird gets a piece of this. Up the middle, takes a couple hops. Picked up by the second baseman. Throw to first. They'll get the out. Jewett does advance to third, but there's two away. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. The post Look. 77 could certainly use a hit here. Looked like Carney almost pulled his foot off the bag too, too soon. Let no appeals. McNamara deals. And this is up the left side, past the reach of the third baseman. And post 77 has tied the game. An RBI single for Kevin Balowitz. Sean Jewett comes around to score, and we are knotted up at one. Dante Diavanzo, the second baseman, will step in. Runner with a lead off of first. There's a strike. Here comes the 0-1. That pitch is going to make it one and one. The 1-1, one, one. swing and a miss. Way out in front of that break of pitch. McNamara set for the 1-2. Two. Inside, 2-2. Two and two. That pitch bent Bellowitz back. Line up and the pitch. And Diavonzo gets a piece of this one. That's a fair ball picked up by the pitcher. Throw to first is going to get away. And here comes Balowitz over to third. He's going to try to score, and he will score. Post 77 takes the 2-1 to one lead on the Aaron throw. How about that piece of hitting from Diavonzo? What a smash that was. An infield single and then a throwing error allows Balowitz to score. Well, his feet didn't come out from under him. He just dirted it, for lack of a better word. Brennan Grover steps in. It's now a 2-1 post-77 lead. That pitch up high. Wind up and the pitch. There's a ball. Both runs have scored with two outs here in this bottom of the fourth. McNamara delivers, fouled away. Two and one. Runner on second, two outs. There's ball three. McNamara's doing a good job of mixing up his pitches. Two runs have scored this inning for post 77. There's ball four. Two on, two outs. I'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Got him a mound visit here. Yeah, we're going to have a mound visit. And it looks like McNamara is going to stay in the game. But the coach just wanted a word. My mom's calling. Should I answer the phone? Tell her we're on air. <laughs> hey, Ma, we're on air. So mound visit here from the first-year head coach for North Chelmsford. A couple of rookie managers. That's right. I think you stole my lineup, so. I don't, I don't think I. <laughs> Wind up in the pitch. 
And a good swing there, but that is a strike. Leg lift and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one into left field. It goes past the reach of the shortstop. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Dante Diavazzo. The throw in is going to get away from the catcher. And that is going to be run number three for post 77. Diavazzo with a bit of a collision with the catcher, Nickerson. But that was just. I don't know whether the catcher. Uh, that was just the ball being thrown right in front of the plate. And Nickerson just didn't really have any other options. Brennan Grover ends up at third base. Nick Calabrese is safe with the single, advances to second on the throw in. And that'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. That was a dangerous play there. You, as a catcher, you cannot block the plate without having possession of the ball. And right there, I thought the he ball, was blocking the plate. I think the ball landed right in front of the plate, so it was just kind of a difficult situation as that one's fouled away. Oh, and one. So it's now a three to one lead for post 77. Well, the throw was on line from Tompkins. Now Chumps is in trouble. Up high. Two runners on. Scoring position. With big Dom Cavanaugh at the plate. Can open this game up. Yeah, he's two for two today. And there's a nasty breaking pitch for a strike, one and two. Down low. Two and two. Oh, the dangerous hitter on deck, uh, Malfi, the future UMass Boston Beacon. And the first base is open. And that briefly gets away from the catchers. It was low in the dirt, full count. First base is open. Well, you wonder if McNamara is starting to lose a little something. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this inning. Kavanaugh breaks his rhythm, calling timeout. McNamara deals inside, and Kavanaugh draws the walk. And post 77 has batted around, and they have the bases loaded now with two outs. Alex Amalfi will step in. Amalfi hasn't shown uh, the patience he has in his previous games we've seen down here. 0 for 2 so far today. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. Down low and a nice job by Nickerson keeping it in front of him. He's earning his money today. Certainly is. The 1-1, one, one. and this is hit in the air over to center field, and it is caught for the third out of the inning, but post 77 does play three runs, and they take a three to one lead as we head to the top of the fifth on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning, top of the order, for North Chelmsford post 313, who find themselves down now three to one. It'll be Joe O'Malley, Zach LaRouchelle, and Chris Asiello to battle Louis Dennison, who was out there for his second inning of work. Matt Tomaselli pitched a very good three innings today. And Dennison out there to try to finish things out. That pitch down low, one and oh. That submarine pitch works on gravity, believe it or not, Tom. You got to throw the ball really, really low, almost drag your knuckles on the ground. Ball two. Yeah, 
Looks like there will be warm-up action for North Chelmsford. Fouled away, two and one. Line up and the pitch. And this is sliced up the right side foul. Two and two. Where are we in the lineup, Tom? Top of the order. Top of the order. Dennison deals. And this is sliced up the right side once again foul. the first time that the top of the order has seen Dennison. Dennison set to deliver, and this is hit in the air to right field and caught for the out. Out number one, and that'll bring up Zach LaRouchelle, the second baseman. Dennison is set to deal. Ball one. Probably one of the more famous submarine pitchers was a guy who played for the Royals, Dan Quisenberry. And this is up the right side, and it is bobbled by the first baseman. Flip to Dennison. They'll get the out. Good coverage there by Dennison. A three to one out, two away. That'll bring up Chris Osiello, the shortstop. Well, how about Dennis Eckersley, Larry? Yeah, he, he wasn't as, he was more sidearm. This is submarine. This is knuckle dragging right here. And this is up the middle and gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first and it's dropped by the first baseman. And they're going to call the runner safe. Ball came out of his glove, so Chris Osiello reaches on the error. Second error of the game for post 77. John Nickerson, the catcher, will step in. Dante didn't exactly uh, throw a screamer over to first base. Sort of babied it. He'll know the next time. Dennison steps off the mound. And the runner goes back to first. Two outs, one on. Poor North Chelmsford. A three to one post 77 lead. Checking at first, nearly got him. He's got to do some gymnastics to pick over and throw over like that. There's a strike. He's probably figured it out though if he's been throwing that way for as long as he has. I just thought he almost balked, but. Ball one, one and one. Once you come to the set position, you can't do anything other than step off the back of the rubber or go home. And this is up the right side, bobbled by the first baseman. He'll pick it up and step on the bag for the third and final out of the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go. Post 77 leading North Chelmsford 3 to 1 on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 3 to 1 lead for Post 77. Two up is 5, 6, and 7. Sean Jewett, Drew Rankatori, Cole Glassburn, the same three that started off last inning in the batter's box as Jewett takes strike one. 
Oh, and one. Three runs score last inning for post 77. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one hit high in the air to left field and caught for out number one. That's the first out of the game for Sean Jewett. He is two for three at the plate. Drew Rankatori will step in. So you had a nice relaxing vacation. Was able to rest your vocal cords. Ready to go for the second half of the season? Of course. And this is hit high in the air to center field and caught out number two. Well, McNamara still in the game and certainly relieved to record two quick outs to start off the bottom of the fifth. Cole Glassburn will step in. Drew Rancatori, the incoming president of the student class at Hopkinton High. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Glassburn is one for two today. And he'll rip this one into center. What a catch by the shortstop. That was an unbelievable dive and catch there by the North Chelmsford shortstop for out number three. It was all right. Chris Osciello with a nice catch. One, two, three, they go to the top of the six. We go post 77, leading North Chelmsford three to one on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the sixth inning. Post 77 leading North Chelmsford three to one. Do up this inning for post 313 is five, six, and seven. Tyler Happy, Riley Moulton, and Alex Carney. Happy is one for two so far today. Louis Dennison out there for his third inning of work. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Right, he set the deal, and this is right up the middle. Glove by Dennison, throw to first, no problem. One to three for out number one. I'll bring up Riley Moulton, the right fielder. Moulton is 0 for two. And this is up the right side, past the reach of Amalfi. And Moulton will stay at first, a one-out single. He turned on that pitch, that's for sure. Certainly did. Alex Carney will step in. Any relation to Art Carney? You'll we'll have to ask him. Post game, post game. I don't know, rumor on the street was he was. Runner with a slight lead at first. There's a strike. One on, one out for North Chelmsford. Set to deliver is Dennison. And there's a strike, 0 and 2. Dennison obviously has control of that submarine pitch. That's the first thing that goes with the submariner is the control. And this is foul up the left side. Count remains 0 and 2. Runner with a slight lead off of first, up high. Here's the one and two. That's fouled away. That was a nice catch by the cameraman over there. 
Here's a little tidbit of information. Did you know that Major League Baseball owns Rawlings, the manufacturers of those baseballs, so they can dictate? I did not. You know, how tight they are, how far they'll travel. Ground Up the left foul. side. I learned that today while traveling the Mass Pike. Ah, interesting. This Justin Verlander is absolutely incensed at the amount of home runs that are being hit this year. They're on pace for a record number, 6,600 home runs this year. And there's a strike. Throw to first. And they nearly got the runner off the bag. Two away. That'll bring up Coleman Lawler, the DH. That was the right pitch to throw down on without uh, with having a right-handed hitter in the batter's box. It certainly was. Great throw by Jewett. He's going to Stonehill College in the fall. He's going to try and walk on the baseball program. There's a strike. Oh, and one. He'll have a lot of competition, but he realizes that. He's a tough competitor. The 0-1. And this is hit up the right side, into right field it goes. It'll be a single, a two-out single for Lawler. So it's runners on first and second with two outs. Connor Tompkins, the left fielder, will step in. Hopkins is one for two so far today. And he hit him. That'll load up the bases. Top of the order, Joe Malley will step in. And now Coach Obed wants a word. It's nice to see uh, the missing link, a secret weapon, Luke Gustafson. On the bench, big number 51. Spent his freshman year down at Tufts University. Did very well. He'll be used in the playoffs under the careful eye of Coach Obed. O'Malley is over for 3 today. He will be 0 for 4, Tom. That's my prediction. Slow roller picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first. Got him. Nice play by Dom Cavanaugh. 5 to 3 for out number 3. We will head to the bottom of the six. Post 77 leading 3 to 1 on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, a 3 to 1 lead for post 77. Kevin Balowitz will start things off. Will McNamara remains in the game for North Chelmsford. That pitch is just a little bit in there for a strike, <laughs> says the home plate umpire, Mike Whalen. Oh, I thought that was a ball. Okay. Oh, wow. it's close. One and one. Luke Gustafson getting loose for post 77. Maybe we'll see him close it out. Two ball count. Two balls. The one one. There's a ball, two and one. Oh, three balls. All right. Three balls. I ah, was misguided. If he throws another ball, he'll get first base. There's a strike. Three and one. That's how it works in this game here. Thanks for explaining that, Larry. Well, it's just for the viewers at home, but just tuning in. <laughs> And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes, and it's caught. Tyler Happney able to catch up with it. One away. That'll bring up Dante Diavanzo, the second baseman. Or will we see a pinch hitter here? I don't know, but rumor has it the missing link is warming up in the bullpen. It looks like... Oh, all right, there's Diavanzo. Brennan Grover due up next for post 77. The Tufts Jumbo. 
Oh no, we do have a pinch hitter, excuse me. That is Lawrence Tang. The Belmont Hill star. Tang takes a strike. Hopkins in resident, only 14 years old. Fouled away. O oh and two. Plays AAU ball for Nakona. The O2. There's a called strike. I'll be out number two. Brennan Grover will step in. And it looks like we're going to have a meeting on the mound here by Coach. St. Hilaire, quick meeting. McNamara will stay out there. Maybe they're talking about uh, inserting Tang in a lineup and whether he'll take somebody's place out in the field. Grover is over two with a walk. Up high. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, one and one. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss, a heater. One and two. Set to deal. And he got a piece of that one, got by the catcher, and he will be safe at first on the strikeout. Let's go that pass ball and the strikeout. That's right. And that Calabrese will step in. It sounded like he got a piece of it, but that was actually the catcher's glove. As Coach St. Hilaire is going to come out and take the ball from Will McNamara. Poor Willie. He's got the ball in his hand. Oh, he does. All right, we're going to see a new pitcher for North Chelmsford. So with that, we'll take a timeout. You're tuned into Ashland Legion Baseball on either WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Bottom of the six, new pitcher for North Chelmsford as Nick Calabrese will step in. Riley Moulton moves over from right field to take over on the mound. And taking over in right field was is Coleman Lawler who started the game as the DH. Strike one to Calabrese. I don't know whether McNamara was tired or he had a pitch count. That's fouled away. Oh and two. Excuse me, one and one. <laughs> you have a tough day today, Tom. I am, I gotta just stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying the counts. Wind up in the pitch. Runner taking off from first as Calabrese gets a piece of this one over to right field. It goes. That'll drop in. A lead runner being waved to third, and he will stop there. It'll be runners on the corners with two outs, four post 77. The hit and run play was put on by Jake Obed. Tom Cavanaugh will step in. He is two for two at the plate with a walk. Got to watch out for the Chebsford team. When the new reliever comes in, they'll be throwing peanuts at him. You know why? And this is hit in the air over to right field and uh -huh. caught by Happeny, who shifted over to his left. And that'll be the third out of the bottom of the sixth. That's post 77, leading 3-1 to one North Chelmsford down to their final three outs up next on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Top of the seventh, North Chelmsford down to their final three outs, trailing three to one. Two, three, and four due up, four post 313. Louis Dennison out there for another inning of work. And this will be his fourth inning of relief for Matt Tomaselli. The Tomaselli Dennison combo has been terrific tonight, Tom. So far, so good. 
That pitch down low to Zach LaRouchelle, who is 0 for 2 with a walk. Jake Oblid taking no chances. He's got Luke Gustafson warming up in the bullpen. Down low. 2 and 0. Dylan O'Leary keeping the scorebook tonight for post 77. Down low, three and O. Post 77, nine and O on the season. North Chelmsford six and three. Both teams on a good winning streak. North Chelmsford has won their last six. Post 77, of course, has won their last nine. One of those winning streaks will come to an end here tonight. Three and one on La Rochelle. Outside, he'll draw the walk. Coach Obed checking over the bullpen to see whether Luke Gustafson is ready. I'll bring up Chris Anasiello, the shortstop. Tennyson takes a look at first and is set to deal. Inside. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Two and oh. And now Jewett wants to talk with Dennison. That's six straight balls thrown by Louis Dennison. This will be uh, Dennison's last hitter. That's my take on things. I'd say, especially if it's a walk, you're probably right. Down low. Three and O count. Did you know that uh, Tufts University's mascot was a jumbo? Meaning an elephant? I did not. Yeah. That's why they get peanuts before the game. There's a strike, three and one. The fans throw peanuts around their stadium for the jumbos. Ah. Well, they have a bunch <laughs> of them running around? Yeah. <laughs> this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. And the lead runner being waved to third. He's gonna try to get there, and he will. The ball will get away briefly, but nice hustle by Dennison, but two runners are in scoring position now with no outs for North Chelmsford. That is a single for us, yellow. He advanced the second on the throw in. John Nickerson, the catcher, will step in, and it looks like we'll have a new pitcher for post 77. And Larry, please don't ever make an elephant noise in the headset again. <laughs> is it that bad? Horrible. Oh. Luke Gustafson's going to come in the game for Louis Dennison to try to close it out, but he is certainly in a bit of a difficult situation with no outs and two runners in scoring position. It's a 3-1 to one post-77 lead. We'll take a timeout on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Top of the seventh, two in scoring position and no outs for Nora Chelmsford. Luke Gustafson making his first appearance of the year for post-77. And he has been put in quite a jam here with no outs, two in scoring position. We'll see if he can work his way out of it. John Nickerson, the cleanup hitter, will step in. Louis Dennison responsible for both the runners on base. Gustafson set to deal. And the freshman from Tufts University delivers strike one. I thought he was going to start this inning coming right out of the gate. Line up and the pitch. Breaking pitch slightly outside, one and one. Here's the one one. 
And this is up the middle, glove by the second baseman, throw to first, they get one out, a run will score. So it's a sacrifice RBI for Nickerson, a sacrifice RBI ground out. LaRouchelle comes around to score, and now it's a three to two ball game with the tying run at third base. Tyler Happany, the center fielder, will step in. Ashland infield in all the way around. There's a strike. They will cut that runner off at the plate. Puts it to him. Fouled away, 0 and 2. Could certainly use a strikeout here. Gossifson looks in. And there's strike three, gets him looking two away. R Riley Moulton, the right fielder, will step in. You know, he had to go to college to learn how to do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Set him up perfectly. Gossifson deals, there's a strike. That's why he was a Tri-Valley All-Star last year. Strike two. Is he going to drop in a breaking pitch here? We'll see. Here it comes. Fastball outside. One and two. Gossifson looks over at third and now is set to deliver. And this is up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first. No problem. Four to three for out number three. And post 77 hangs on for the three to two victory. It certainly got a little uh, tense towards the end there, but post 77 able to hang on and improve to 10 and 0 on the season. North Chelmsford falls to six and four. A very good pitching performance from the Matt Tomaselli, Louis Dennison, Luke Gustafson combination, and a great win here for post 77 against a very good North Chelmsford team. Post 77 scores three runs, and they rack up eight hits on the day, commit two errors. North Chelmsford ends up scoring two runs on nine hits and commits two errors as well. Post 77 improves to 10 and 0 with a victory over North Chelmsford. The final score for the final time. Post 77 defeats North Chelmsford three to two. For Connor Donovan on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy and we thank you for watching Ashland Legion Baseball on either HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland or HCAT and Hollison. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you again soon.